So if you edit your videos in Adobe Premiere for IG Reels, there's a few things you need to know if you wanna make sure your videos stay high quality and also have a good chance of going viral. So let me go ahead and uh, walk you through in these tips. Let's run it. Today I'm gonna to break down my process for creating Instagram Reels in Adobe Premiere and how to maintain the best video quality for your videos and also get the highest engagement. Cause that's why we do it, right? To build our social media presence and add value to our followers. So if you follow this video, you'll be making high quality Reels at Adobe Premiere in no time. Let's jump into this. All right, before we jump into Premiere, you wanna first gather all the footage that you need for your Reel into your computer. And for me, that's pretty easy because I have an iPhone and a MacBook Pro. So I just copy all my files off my DSLR into the computer. And then I grab all the videos or photos off of my iPhone and just airdrop it uh, to my computer. If you're on Android, you can do Dropbox or you can plug your phone in and just copy and paste. I also like to do a screen record if I'm gonna be kind of imitating a trend that's out, do a screen record and also copy that file to my computer to use that as a template while I'm building out my Instagram reel. So assuming you've copied over all the footage that you need, let's jump up into Premiere and uh, actually run through the process on how we put this together. Okay, so jumping into a fresh project in Premiere here, we're gonna create a sequence. So file, new, let's go to sequence here. And under digital SLR is where we're gonna start and hit the 1080p setting and then DSLR and hit the 24 frames a second version. Let's go to settings up here it's on the top tab because we're actually gonna switch over the horizontal and vertical um, so it fits the phone screen. So horizontal is gonna be 1080 and vertical is gonna be 1920. All right, great and everything else we can keep the same. And actually what I like to do under here, hit save preset, IG reels, boom. So it's ready to go. Uh, so now under uh, custom at the bottom, you have IG reels and you're ready to go, hit okay. And before we go any further, if you could take a moment to subscribe to my page and give this video a like button because I'm pretty new. Uh, to YouTube. I've been trying on and off for a couple years, but this year I'm deciding to really make a good push. So any help you could give would be like super appreciated. Thank you. All right. So now that you know how to get your vertical mobile format set up here, I'm going to open up a pre-edited reel that I did and show you how I went about creating that. Okay. I'm going to play a little bit of this for you just so you can get a feel for, for what it is. Yeah, so that's it. <laughs> and uh, it follows a trend that I always been wanting to create. So I was like, yeah, let me let me take a little shot at it. Um, so here's a couple things. So first of all, with this, there's a really this is like a game changer for me is that you want to go in the description of this video and download what's called oops, I almost knocked over my wine glass and download what I like to call my Instagram reel for premiere overlay. What that does is this. So if you notice, if you ever, um, when you upload your Instagram reel to, uh, to Instagram, it's going to be blocked out in the feed on the top and the bottom. So I created this overlay so you know where the boundaries are. So when you're putting text, when you're putting on images, you're not blocking out. Only if people open up your reel in Instagram stories or in the reels part of the app are they going to see the full thing. So you really want to make sure all text is within uh, this, this, this black box. So that's the first thing you really want to know here. Second thing is length. I think is something you really need to consider and something you really want to keep an eye on. This reel is 12 seconds long. Um, I really recommend your reel stay either within 15 seconds or um, everything important 
and the reel happens in the first 15 seconds because really the most engagement you're going to get and the most sharing that's going to happen is people sharing your reel in their Instagram stories and Instagram stories only last for 15 seconds so anything beyond that if you need more than 15 seconds to set up a punchline you know for your video then honestly it's not going to get engagement so keep that in mind under 15 seconds is still recommended one other thing to consider with text in Instagram Reels is that honestly, depending on your screen, I've noticed it'll chop off the sides of your screen too when you post the Instagram Reels. So don't put your text all the way on the side. Give, a, give it a little bit of space so it doesn't get chopped off when you upload it. So, so and I guess the last thing I want to say about text is, and this is overall with Instagram Reels, I noticed is that the Instagram Reels that I see performing the best are ones that look like they were shot on a really high quality phone with very basic editing. So actually like crazy transitions and graphics and motions and all these all these crazy things you can add to the video honestly i think detract from the level of engagement because people want to feel like they can create it themselves so so i go with really basic text um, as you can see my settings for this text i literally just had a basic like uh aerial i think text or i don't even know what i use yep aerial text and then I just gave it a, a, a fill and a stroke uh, to outline it just so it pops off the screen a little bit more and separates it from the background. But I tend to not do anything more than that except do that and then change the colors. And honestly, it's great to just keep it simple. So yeah, and then I would just play it all the way through, make sure it's uh, within the, the overlay so nothing is cut off. And then, whoops, I'm actually mute this so you don't hear this all right dope great cool and make sure it looks good without the overlay great that's what it looks like full screen all right we're good to go all right let's go ahead and uh export this thing so make sure it's within our bounds make sure the overlay is disabled i have a shortcut set on mine but you can just right click and hit enable or disable to disable that. So we want to make sure that is disabled. And then file export media. Zoom. Okay. And then, all right, here's the settings I like to use. So H264. Let's do a match source. Uh, high bit rate is fine here. And scroll down. So what we're going to want to do here is change the uh, uh, bitrate settings here. So I like to do a VBR one pass and then set this to eight. Just lower the quality a little bit because Instagram is going to compress it anyway. And then uh, what I like to do here is save a preset for everything I do. So I would put like IG Reels, boom. I already have one saved, so I'm not going to save it now, but you want to save that. So whenever you go in here, you can go to preset custom and your IG settings will be saved for you. Um, and then you're going to hit export. All right. So let's go ahead and pull up the file and I'm just going to airdrop it to my phone. You can just go here, hit share, airdrop. Once again, I'm on a Mac. All right. Boom. sense great all right and then we're gonna go ahead and jump up into the phone and uh, upload it to Instagram okay let's go ahead and jump up into Instagram let's hit the plus in the top right and then at the bottom we're gonna go to reels hit continue actually start a new video I was working on another one and then the bottom left hit that button Let's pull existing videos, and the last video is the one we just created. Let's hit that. You can hit add at the top right, since it's already ready to go. And then next, we want to hit preview. Dope. And then it should be ready to go, but you can watch the preview. Make sure it looks uh, how you made it on the computer. 
Looks good to go. Hit next at the bottom right. All right, first thing you want to do is make a cover for it. So you can select uh, just by dragging here. What do you want? I think that's the cover I picked when I posted it. Hit done. Add your captions and uh, you're ready to go. So that's all it takes. If you want to edit your Instagram Reels in Adobe Premiere and upload to Instagram and keep the highest level of quality. So thanks so much for rocking with me. Uh, once again, my name is JJ, AKA Tech Boogie, and I'm coming out with videos every week, every Friday. So tune in and I'm gonna catch you guys next time. All right, peace.